you're looking at a daily chart of the NASDAQ and you can see that it has a had a nice run here. But the last few sessions, it's been uh, pulling back. And you can see this is a beautiful run. And uh, it's been in a power trend, but today it pulled back um, to its, finally it pulled back to its uh, 10 EMA. It's been down the last three sessions. You can see here, this is the uh, options expiration uh, last Friday, the quad witching or whatever. And then the last couple of days, you know, above average volume. And I'm telling you, don't get complacent here. This thing could, you know, could sell off down to the 21 or even the 50. So you got nice gains, you know, take some profits, uh, buy yourself some uh, Hoka shoes or uh, something nice, whatever. But uh, today I was just observing the fish tank. I'm not doing anything in, in this because I don't know when the selling is going to stop. Where is it going to stop? Where is it going to find support? I don't know. But I'm going to take a look around at some stocks uh, that are working. There's some stocks that are still working as we're going to see a rotation into the home builder uh, stocks. And this is a uh, builder first source. Uh, one of the uh, suppliers for home builders. You can see the ascending base here. And then it's just been, uh, you know, respecting its uh, moving averages. It seems like I, I'm a broken record here <laughs> with these home builder stocks. Uh, but there's nothing to do, but, you know, just watch them go up. Uh, so, uh the money is rotating out of software and semiconductor and into energy uh, and um, home builders today. This is Pulte Homes making a new high. Another one that we follow is DHI making a new high. Um, so new highs are good. Uh, you can just go through any one of them and they're just, you know, this is a green brick and this one bounced off. It's a 10, you know, nice uh, support there. Uh, KB. H, which reported this afternoon, said demand was, you know, really strong and it uh, traded a new high today and it was up after hours. Um, so the home builders have probably continued uh, to show strength, I would imagine. This is MTH, was on our uh, watch list this week, and this one is uh, trading at uh, new highs as well. So just, you know, the whole sector is uh, real strong. I did mention uh, some of the energy names, uh, you know. Chevron, I mean, look at this downtrending chart. Yeah, I got some love today, but um, I'm not interested in stuff like this. Exxon Mobil was up in over 1%, and then Warren Buffett's favorite. Occidental, you know, I'm sure he's got the dividends. The little inside day today is up half a percent, but I'm not interested in this. It's like when you're on the freeway and uh, you're, in, you're stuck in traffic and your lane's not moving. So you get in the lane next to you that is moving. And as soon as you jump over into that lane, it stops moving and the lane that you were in starts moving and you want to get back into that lane. So so if you own stuff like, um, well, I'm going to go, let's go to the uh, semiconductor names. I mean, this this lane has been moving. You know, it sure, it came down today, but if there's a stock that needs a breather, it's this one, NVIDIA. And it was down less than 2%. But, uh, you know, it'll probably... Uh, Last was the last Monday, it bounced off its uh, 10 EMA sharply. It was up four or five days in a row. And now it's starting to level off here. 430 be a nice number. And let the moving averages catch up. Uh, but don't be changing lanes and chasing the rotation. That's one of the worst things you can do. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go... Um, I'm going, to, I'm going to get back to NVIDIA and AMD and all those uh, semiconductor names. I want to look at some of the retail stocks. Because ELF was a strong stock today. It got upgraded yesterday, I believe. Bank of America or something. And uh, you could see that it rose on earnings, formed this shelf, came down to the 21 and bounced. Now it's really bouncing sharply the last uh, few sessions. So uh, good for the ELF longs. Uh, Deckers, I mentioned you go buy yourself some Hoka's. I have Hoka's, please. Decker's is a fine stock. I, I do not understand the, uh, you know, made a new high today, but it, I don't understand the valuation from uh, Owen Holdings, Decker's, and Crocs. Those three don't make sense. I'm going to go over a video on it one of these nice days because of the valuation is just, they don't make sense to me. And this is, has a, a $13 billion market cap. And it has the same sales as Crocs. This one has a nine billion market cap. 
and it has you know one third of the sales. And Crocs has a six point seven billion market cap, and it's got it's got more sales than Deckers and on, and uh, better margins in Deckers. I don't understand it, but anyway, I digress. Um, what else was I going to look at? Shaq. Shaq, yeah, this one bounced nicely here. <clears throat> Off it could pull back to its 21 and uh bounced up. Uh then came back to the 10, then bounced again, returned to the 10, bounced again. So this is things riding its moving averages higher. Shake Shack. Never been there. I heard people like it. I don't know. Here on the West Coast, we like In and Out Burger, but Shake Shack is uh supposed to be pretty good from what I hear. Anyway, I was not doing anything today. I was just observing the fish tank as I'm supposed to do. I was watching to see a few stocks and see if they would bounce off their moving averages. And obviously, you know, AMD was trading in this little box here. And it did not. Um, it did not find support at its 21. It fell below the box. And so what's likely to happen with AMD is that it comes and fills this gap here at 110.99. We'll call it 111. So it's only a buck away here. So probably tomorrow I'll fill that gap. I don't know if it's going to come down to the 50 and find support or what, but it's kind of a no man's land now or no person's land, excuse me, between the 21 and the 50. Um, a couple other stocks I was looking for, uh, you know, bounces off moving averages is Duolingo. This one just showing more weakness here and it uh, pierced its 50, which is not good, but this is just observing. I'm not going to be a hero and try to buy anything at the 50, you know, waiting for a bounce or expecting a bounce. I have to see the actual bounce and I'm not seeing it. So that tells me not to be a hero. There's no reason to jump in for me now. Let this correction uh, run its course. This is um, Marvell and this is, you know, looking similar to what uh, AMD was doing trading in this little box area. So I'm going to hope that it at least trades within this little box and doesn't uh, fall below it. And if you look on the weekly, you can see the weekly low right here. If I go to my uh, track price, the weekly low is, uh, what was it, 57.26? Yeah, you don't, you don't want it falling below that <clears throat> as AMD did. AMD's low was like 116 or something. Yeah, 116.60, it smashed that today. So these are just the things that I am observing and it doesn't look good, you know, to me, I mean, for jumping in or anything, it's just uh, more selling. I was uh, wondering if Rambus could uh, hold the 21. It could not. So um, all these stocks that, uh, you know, I was hoping would, would hold uh service. They didn't do it. I mentioned TG TX almost every, um, day and i thought it would hold the 10 didn't the 21 didn't slice the 50 just keeps going down every day <laughs> so four longs there are probably wondering when the heck is this thing gonna find support it's in uh no man's land as well no person's land i should say acls another one that i'm watching to see if it can find support here a strong stock but they're correcting they're selling off after you know this is a nice run here you know from what 105 we were to go to 184, <laughs> yeah, that's a nice, uh, you know, that's a nice 70% move, 75% move. So for it to give some back here the last few sessions, and it's coming back on uh, heavy volume here. So th these are the, just the things that I'm watching, okay? I'm not uh, I'm not acting on anything, just observing. This is Digital Ocean, pull back to its uh, 21 here. And there's no support. I don't see any bounce. Do you? This is HubSpot, another one that I'm watching. Back to the uh, 21, no bounce, down another eight bucks today. Um, I mean, I don't know what to tell you <clears throat> until these things uh, find some buyers. This is uh, Monday. Another one on our watch list, and it just traded down to its 21 and uh, closed just less than 1% above the 21. So, Anyway, these are some of the things that I'm looking at. Also, this is uh, Exact Sciences. They uh, This is a nice <laughs> bearish engulfing candle. Traded down to its uh, 10, closed below it, didn't it? Uh, 87, 18 was the 21. So yeah, almost down to the 21. 
they had uh, good news today and sold off on good news. And that happens a lot, you know, and sell the news. We've seen it before. That could be an opportunity. We'll see how this thing responds in the next few sessions. IMGN, uh, another one of uh, the biotech stocks that are performing well. This one I talk about, you know, high tide flag, uh, pull back to the 10 and just uh, trade trades higher. It had this short stroke after 144% move, had a short stroke pattern. Uh, and that thing is looking strong. And uh, AXSM, these guys raised guidance to <laughs> between five and a what five and a half billion and eleven billion in revenue, which is a pretty wide uh, disparity in revenue. They got to get a little better handle on their finances, but um, this thing broke out of this base here and looks real strong. You can see the consolidation here and then the breakout above. But I'm like I said, I'm just observing the fish tank, just uh, watching things. I'm not buying. I'm not chasing the rotation plays or anything like that. I have my leading stocks that I you know I want to buy and when they bounce, I'll get into them. If not, you know, then I won't. I'm kind of all over the place today, but um, Palo Alto Networks, just another one pulling back. Another one that I'm watching. Uh, Fortinet is another one that I'm watching. Pull back to the 10. The last three sessions, just like, uh, you know, the NASDAQ, uh, you know, pulling back. So um, what are you going to do? Anyway, oh, yeah. The uh, medical uh, systems, equipment stocks, medical product stocks. Um, this one bounced off its 50 yesterday, and that's the kind of bounce you want to see and pull back a little bit today. TMDX, another one. Uh, I like this setup right here, supported by the 21 early entry there. I like TMDX uh, and uh, Shockwave. I showed you LNTH and Dexcom. That's what I've been in with. LNTH, inside day today, not bad after a nice bounce. And Dexcom had been trying to break out, now pulling back a little bit. Uh, this one uh, might have to go on the watch list, but it's just back to its 10. We'll see if it can bounce. So that's just what I'm looking at, what I'm looking for, not um, jumping in, not being a hero, uh, just observing the fish tank and uh, not really liking what I'm seeing. Anyway, we never give up.